had to be who cares and i want to do something different as you can follow my tiktok account and here sometimes a week i do i like, um a mini review on movies because i go to cinemas a week because i got that cine wheel up my card where basically i can see any movies i want for one price a month and sometimes i go once a week or twice a week and normally I do i said mini reviews so i thought i gotta do two mini reviews in one video just for a change you know I me mean? see how it goes now the first movie we're going to do as you see the quest i've shown now is in a violent nature now the thing about this film is it's Friday the 13th basically the plot is basically is Friday the 13th it's a slasher and basically the big gimmick is you're not following the victims you're all through the film you're following the killer which when this first got announced or so off a couple months ago i was intrigued by it because i thought okay this looks unique and it is a good idea on paper now how it is on the final project is nah, that's the problem because this it depends what audience was in the film now if you're like me who are into classic horrors classic um slashes movies like i said before with by the fair team halloween you know what I mean? Stuff like that. You probably like this film because there is a, a lot of good nods in this Easter eggs of those films. And it is a love letter to those type of films. Which I love in this. But this is a big problem. And I think most people probably say this. I hear people say this. It's got bad pacing problems because this is the thing because the gimmick is you're following a killer all the way through the movie no, you feel like nothing happens at all because that's the whole point because again he is stalking the victims that's the whole point of the film and i can see the average audience going to say this is boring no i mean which again i'll admit it did drag and this is me who is a big slasher fan and it did drag especially the first half of the film know what i mean so yes that is the biggest problem here and the problem with that is it wounds the story yes i know it's meant to be the five of the 13th rip off but the problem is because you don't have like the whole story there i can see people easily get locked into it yes it do explain the backstory on the main killer but the problem is it is briefly and i can see no people are gonna get put off by this get confused especially with the ending too the ending oh my god i was in the cinema with about eight people watching this at the same time what all of them was pissed off with the ending because nothing happens near the end yeah i did the thing i'm not gonna spoil it i get what it going with with the ending i get it but the problem is this the big problem a lot of people like i said before who's not slasher fans who's not deep into horrors they gonna get confused sadly they are now the positives yeah like i said it is a love letter to slasher films like even some of the deaths is so fucked up like there's one death in this is one of the worst deaths i've seen and I thought that was in Holly through the movie. No, it get worse. Now, all I can give you is, remember Invincible the last season? Basically, um, that girl got paralyzed, remember, in that alternate world. Basically, it's something like that, but take to the next death further with his mental torture on top of that, which is so fucked up, you know what I mean? So, yes. With that... I'm going to give it 6 out of 10. It's not mind-blowing, but I think this gimmick do not work. It do not work at all as, um, a, you know, a horror thing. It's a good, fun experiment, but that's it. So, what I'm saying, it's 6 out of 10. We'll get to the next movie, which is 
long legs. Now, the plot of this movie is, it's about an FBI woman who got put on a case to work for a serial killer because this serial killer being linked with a bunch of family suicides. I mean, a hell of a lot of them. And the more to go into it, the more weird it gets and fucked up. Now, that's all I'm going to give because it's one of those movies that you need to watch it, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to mention ever the plot except from that because it's one of those things that you need to watch it because you either go love it like I do. This is the thing. I fucking love this movie. But, or it's going to be one of those movies that people are say, what the fuck I should watch, you know what I mean? But this is the thing. It's one of those unique films that is like, what the fuck? Now, think of, how is this how this film? It's think about it's size of arms blended in with um the signing. Mix those together, that one you get here. A tippy ass fella. And oh my god, I enjoyed it. The stylizing, the soundtrack, the sound oh my god. This is the thing. The soundtrack and the sound in this movie is outstanding. Also, God, begin to end. Amazing, fantastic, ma. Seriously, it is amazing to watch, that. and again the sounds too. In the story too, I was on my seat in the story with this too, this mystery. Now, the only notes I got with the story is it is one of those twists that you can see it coming off. I see it. I see it about. I see about half an hour before it finished. I see the twist coming off. It's one of those ones, sadly. So that going to knock a bit of score down for that because it is an obvious twist. But at the same time, the pathway is unique. Everything else is so well done. The cast done an amazing job in this movie. Seriously, watch this movie because, like I said before, it is an experience you need to watch. And I enjoyed this movie from beginning to end and yes i know people have mixed feelings of it last couple of days about this since it came out that's because the market came sadly the market said this could be the scariest movie ever you know it it's going to get people leave the sphere to air because it's that scary it's not if you go into that you are going to be disappointed you net know all that i think you enjoy this you would enjoy this it's into like unique horrors or unique fillers, you know what I mean? So I go wank this movie. I go give it I go give it nine out of ten. Seriously, I enjoy this movie. So that's my video. That's my two reviews. So you want to see more videos like that in the future? Please like and comment below. And also give me your thoughts on both these movies. I already hear too. So this bit of break who cares? See you on the next one.